and irons for position on this first tee most all week. Yeah, it's a pretty good par four. Nicholas calls it the, one of the best starting holes in championship golf. 448. And you have about 22 yards of fairway to drive it in, 20 in some spots. But this ended up 20 to 25 yards right of that first fairway. It took a few seconds for the folks down there to find the ball, but they did find it rather quickly. One thing with this group, so many people with it, the ball can be found, it is. And this was the second shot. And the problem back at the tee continued up in the hay at the first. You guys take enough freaking pictures already? Did it on the tee, now you're doing it now. But Woods was disgusted with his play and with the photographers in off rhythm early. Well, you know, you might think that would be a deterrent, but I actually like it because he's on edge. He's ready to play. He's focused, but he didn't want people to disrupt him. And I don't think it's going to bother him at all. This, a good shot to get back to the fairway. I don't think I could have done that. Just takes nothing but strength. And you see where the first. And this is why he's so good. He's able to forget about what just happened, focus on the next shot, hit a good one, and hopefully salvage par. And here was the par putt. One of the few, as it turned out, one putt greens that Wood ha Woods had on the day. So that was a par. Tiger even through one. The second 351 yard par four hit an iron off the tee four position. And Finchie, that's your hole. Here was his second shot. Swinging beautifully, as you can see there, in perfect balance. That's the way to play that hole. Just feed it in from that right hand edge. So Woods was close enough for a realistic birdie attempt. And if you were with us, he told Roger Twibel about a half dozen putts that lipped out on him, even through two. Another iron off the tee at three and another birdie putt. One was off right from the start. Made a par three at the fourth with a six iron off the tee and a couple of putts. Then at the fifth, driver off the tee of the par five. This is the second shot from 267. This is a hole he'll hit driver on all week long unless it gets downwind. A little dog leg right uphill. On the green, but a long ways from the hole, up a slope. Remember, Woods was even through his first four holes at this point. And here's the eagle putt at five. So a two putt birdie, Tiger Woods one under par at that point. Took another iron off the tee of the 468-yard par 4 sixth, and Steve had 172 for a second shot. Mike, he played a beautiful tee shot right at the bottom of this dog leg, and it's sort of an indifferent second shot here. Just kind of hung it out to the left. Didn't look like a particularly tough putt. It, we talked about the fact that greens are not that fast, but he really gave this one a run. And now this for par. And what we've seen in the major championships that he's won, he's been so effective at the three, four, five foot even par putts coming back in those situations when he's run it by. Didn't do it there. Back at even par. And now on the tee of the par three, seven. Today playing 174 yards. And that's the ideal place to hit it on the seventh. A little uphill putt, pretty straight. We saw Tiger at Beth Page hole a number of putts over 12 feet in that first round. Half a dozen at least. This putt for birdie. But today, he just can't seem to get it going. Well, he missed those two earlier to the right. Maybe just overcompensated a bit there and got it back to the left too far. So he was even through seven. Another iron off eight to 443-yard par four. 
The second shot from 176 to that point in this putt for birdie. Slides off to the right, so another par putt. Still at even par, and now a par five. The ninth iron off the tee. Mike, this was a four iron from just over 250 yards. You can chase it onto the green. Green pitches from left to right. Two iron, four iron. It just comes to a rest at the edge of the putting surface, so another eagle putt like we saw Woods have at the fifth. Huge swinger from right to left, going back up the hill. And all in all, a good four. So two putts there. Tiger Woods, 35, one under par on his opening nine. A little bit later on, we'll show you the back nine, but that also gives you a sense of what's coming up in the first nine holes for the rest of the players, including Phil Mickelson later this afternoon. Let's go see Roger now. He's got Sergio Garcia. Mike, 175 yard par four. Just the second driver of the day. 280 to carry the bunker up the right. You know, whenever he circles his shoulders at the end, the ball goes to the right. He's too far underneath. He tries to recover with his right shoulder and never can catch up. Hard to recover with that much speed, isn't it? <laughs> Not that I yes. know, but just from watching, I can see it. <laughs> Got about 30 mile an hour more clubhead speed than I do. But it helps there. Sure does. From that thick rough, about three and a half, four foot long, hit an excellent second shot. Well, about 40 yards from the front of the green. Hit an indifferent pitch, really, for Tiger. Didn't get it up the slope, and this for par. A little bit more rump needed there. Green's very slow uphill. A drop shot and sitting at even par, and now to the par for 11. Two iron off the tee. Second shot, nine iron. And one of the best second shots we saw from Woods all day. About eight feet or so for birdie. To one under par, and that would be the last birdie that Tiger Woods would make on the day. The rest pars starting at the 12th, par four. Another good tee shot in play with an iron. Just a little bit longer than a pitch in here. Very accessible hole location today. That second shot was from 121 yards. Big swing from the right. How many times today, he's got to ask himself. He told Roger Twible about five or six putts that uh, hit a piece of the cup. Bunch of two putt pars, 13 through 16. Now it's 17 T. Par five. He gets up here and tries to hit a big draw around the corner. Dog leg left. That time he didn't do it. So you three drivers on the day, 5, 10, and 17, and missed the fairway to the right on 10 and 17. Second shot here from the rough. Had, had a reasonable lie. Looks a, a lot worse than it is. And a pretty lucky save there, Curtis, to miss that bunker. That's a deep one. Well, if you put in that bunker, I'm not so sure you can get it on the green. It's so deep and, what, 110 yards from the front of the green. So, not one of those shots you want. Left himself about 110 yards to the hole right here. Judy Rankin told us he had a little three-quarter pitching wedge. Good control, and I wouldn't mind betting he might have been aiming a five foot or so left of the hole there. Good safe shot. This for the birdie. So Woods, at that point, had made six consecutive pars. Comes to the last. Second shot. After another two iron off the tee. In the fairway. That's the key this week. In the fairway. That a five iron. Good shot right over top of the flag. Bit unlucky. And a five iron from 203 yards. It's a missed green. Woods missed four of the 18 greens in regular. That's the fourth green he missed on the day. A little quick chip for his third.
pretty good shot, but left with a little work to be done. This is 33rd and final putt of round one. 470, three off the pace. Spoke with Raul Roger Twibel after the round of one under par. And even though you see the score at one under, he was satisfied.